Hey guys, this is Mark coming to you from Thor Broadcast. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick demonstration of the new hybrid 8 uh, HDMI and SDI modulator. So you have 8 HDMI inputs and 8 SDI inputs, and you can choose uh, which ones you want to put on modulation uh, for your RF network. So I'll show you where it is from our website. Uh, click on box 1, and it's going to be the seventh product down. So as you can see here, uh, they're currently in stock, ready and available to ship. Uh, again, link lights on the front are going to be blue for HDMI, green for SDI, or red for no link, or they're just going to stay off. Um, very easy to use. You can set it up using the front panel here, NMS, to use a computer, which I'm going to show you guys shortly. And here is what the back of it looks like with your RF in, RF out. Um, this is for your uh, DB adjustment for RF power. And again, you have eight sets of HDMI and SDI inputs. Okay, you get everything in the box, all the cables, little instruction manual. So this one is 192.168.0.188. You'll get the splash screen, uh, put in your password. <clears throat> and right away you can see I threw the Blu-ray player I'm using for these. Uh, this one was just happened to be number seven. And you can see that it's 1080i60 on J83B. And you can see here it's running. Uh, keep in mind that you need to use a resolution that the unit can see, otherwise it won't turn blue. And if the unit can't see that resolution, you need to adjust your device. If you're using a PC, that might be, you know, 59.94. You need to change that to uh, 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second. All right, so from the splash screen, you can hit get if you put in some new inputs and that'll load them up for you. We're gonna go to encode and we're just gonna go to the seventh input, which I have connected. And you can see right away this turned blue, which means it's connected and working just fine. You can adjust your bit rates, uh, latency, again, uh, 500, 800, 1000. Again, depending on your resolution and your infrastructure, I think these can definitely do better than 500 milliseconds, which we've heard from countless clients. Uh, but again, I think worst case scenario is about 500 milliseconds, but I think they do encode faster um, than this, uh, specifically HDMI over SDI, generally faster. And here you have your audio formats, AC3, MPEG-1 layer 2, AAC. Uh, your ID program numbers, and here you can change your program name, change this to Blu-ray. Your PIDs and your input source, again here you can change from HDMI to SDI and your resolution. And make sure whenever you make any changes that you want to keep and apply. It'll turn red for a second, and now it's back to blue, so back to modulating and streaming right away. It's that easy to change whatever you like on here. All right, so on to modulate. Again, we're on uh, <clears throat> input seven here. These units come with every standard included. So even if you're international or overseas outside of America, you have your QAM for Euro standard, J83A, American All Fair, uh, QAM J83B, which we're gonna use here, but it also includes DVB-T and ISDVT. And your RF frequency, constellation, major minor channels. So a cool thing that they changed on here uh, for us is you can change your channel here, right? So I'm going to go to just channel two, which is 57. And you'll see this automatically changed the major channel to two, which is 57. So if you change this, it will immediately correlate down here to the major channel, which it should be 63 megahertz is channel three on Quam. But down here, if you want to use the VCT tables, and let's say you want to put your channel on three, uh, but you want it to appear on your TV as, let's say, 40, that's all you have to do. Just type in 40, it'll stay on frequency 63, but it's going to appear on your TV as 40, and that's all you have to do to change, uh, essentially, your your VCT. All right. So it's a lot faster, a lot quicker, a lot easier to use. And there you go.
So it's on technically on channel three up here, but we're going to show it on our TV on channel 40. And that's it. Super easy to use, guys. Um, if you need the Qualmar ATSC tables, they're on our website. And the rest of this is just your IP address, network, default gateway. And again, this is super important because if you have like 10 or 12 of these making a whole head end for a hotel or something like that, you're going to want to put each of these on a different address um, so you can log into them quickly if you need to. Password, firmware, and configuration. All right. And that's how easy it is to take a look at this and change your channels, uh, adjust any settings you like. We made these firmwares really fast, really easy to use. And again, uh, if you have any issues or anything like that, contact our tech support. Uh, if you have any other questions or interested in buying one, ThorBroadcast.com, hit the contact us button or 1-800-521-8467. Thanks. Have a good day.